Hi everybody, it's Guy, the FizzWiz Guy, and uh, welcome to this video on check valves. Now, check valves are really, really important, and every carved stone should have a check valve. This is our Wisdom combo, and if you're not familiar with this, I suggest you watch the, our video about it. We have a ceramic diffuser that fits onto this holder uh, with an end cap to keep everything in place. But let's look at this end. This is the end with the isolation valve and the check valve. And you notice that we've got it going vertically upwards, okay? And there's two reasons for doing that. If you have it sticking out like this, then it's quite a distance from the outside of your tank and that all the fittings can get knocked very easily and you can damage the pipes that are going into it. But more importantly is um, fluid gas separation. We only want the check valve to see either fluid or gas. So in this position, you can imagine if the fluid seeps back, then you only this check valve only sees fluid. If it's in this direction, then what can happen is, is that beer or fluid can run across the bottom of the pipe and gas can run across the top and get fluid gas separation. And that tends to make all check valves leak a little bit. But anyway, let's talk a little bit more about our check valve. Our check valve has been designed to have what's called zero crack pressure. And that's the pressure required to open up the mechanism that stops the fluid flowing backwards. So this is a duct bill valve. And um, you can see it looks like a duct bill. That's why they call it a duct bill valve. And what we have done is we've made these check valves so that you can service the duct bill valve. So after you've bought the check valve, I don't know, after a couple of years of operation, they start to get leaky. Then using a wrench, we can undo this part of the, of the valve. And then we can remove the old duct bill valve and put the new one in. Now we sell little service kits for these and it comes with some food grade uh, nut lock, so you would put some of that on this thread and you'd screw it back up again. And you will notice that it actually gets to a point where it stops and everything's lined up. And that's the right tension with the food lock. And that's our check valve.